Even from the use of state-of-the-art analytical device, it clearly appears that the main issue is to be able to respond in timely fashion to the needs of the feed and food industry. In this context, not only do we need accurate methods that permits the analysis of the contaminant present in feed material, but to be able to also protect the animal from consuming the same ingredient. In this context, we need to have a proactive decision that needs to be made to enable at its best, the mycotoxin from being produced on the plants. If different integrated strategy exists, early recognition that no technology existed to totally eliminate mycotoxins from feed ingredients started the search for new, soli new solutions such as adsorbents, for example. The goal was to find compounds that could absorb the toxins such that absorption in the gastrointestinal tract and thus mycotoxicosis could be prevented. Processed clays were first investigated, but these compounds had limited efficacy over the huge range of mycotoxins and were really efficient only for aflatoxin B1. Thus, this search shifted toward finding an organic compound capable of efficiently absorbing a wide spectrum of toxins that coexist in mixed feeds. A low inclusion rate and biodegradability were also critical in order to maximize formulation space for nutritional use and to minimize, on the other hand, the environmental burden. At this level, using analytical tools to evaluate the quality of organic adsorbents has also been a strong research focus for Alltech. In this perspective, it has been clearly possible with the integration of microbiological, genomics, and biochemical approaches that can define the glycomics approach applied to yeast to evaluate the potentiality of specific fraction of the yeast cell wall at trapping mycotoxins. The ability of one compound to absorb another relies on the unique interaction of structure and composition. New discoveries have revealed how structure and composition interact and how that interaction might be tailored to increase absorption. Yeast cell walls are made of a complex network of different polysaccharides, glucanes, chitin, and mannan. And this polysaccharide varies in relative amount and configuration among the many yeast strains. These differences help to reveal the importance of the glucane fraction in toxin adsorption. This entire mechanism that is triggering the efficacy of an adsorbent has been elucidated by a transversal approach establishing the impact of the genome of the yeast on the production of the different cell wall components. Also correlating the composition to the production process has been facilitated by the development of an entire set of methods for the extraction and quantification of the individual components of the yeast cell wall in relation to changes in the environmental of the yeast organism during heat growth. Furthermore, drawing the correlation of the gene expression and the production parameters to the adsorption capacity of this organic adsorbent could be then characterized. It enabled to estimate the fit between the toxin and the yeast cell wall extract, such as mycosorb. With the visualization of the aflatoxin, zeralenone, trichotechins, and patulin molecules within the structure of glucans through the use of computational molecular modeling. Those models were constructed using analytical techniques that measured the three dimensional organization of each molecule and also to generate and to apprehend the chemical interaction between those different components. Different tools were used to do this type of evaluation, X-ray diffraction, for example, or NMR, to evaluate the stability equilibrium between those different compounds. Were characterized chemical linkages such as hydrogen bonds and vulnerable forces that existed between beta-deglucans and the different chemical groups contained in mycotoxins. In summary, I would like to stress that the advances in analytical uh, technologies and the different approaches that were taken enabled to better understand the problematic behind the mycotoxin prevalence in feed and food. It is clear that because of many pitfalls, especially on the side of sampling, we will always have a problem at the feed and animal production level. The necessity of the adsorbent approach remains because of the unlikelihood, despite all the strategies available to prevent mycotoxin from contaminating those materials. 
Advances in the glycomics approach and methods enable to assess more effectively what are the real needs and characteristics behind the production of an efficient organic adsorbent. Understanding the yeast cell wall structure, yeast genetics, and the mechanisms for modifying and adapting yeast cell wall fraction to improve the mycotoxin adsorption have allowed us to tailor modified yeast cell wall extract for efficient adsorption of several types of mycotoxins and this without affecting digestive processes or presenting an environmental burden. In conclusion, really mycotoxin may always be around, but mycotoxic causes must not remain a threat to animal health, to efficiency or to product quality.